when you use the term, that person is, has a strong anointing, or they operate under a strong anointing, or all of that stuff that you hear. Because, and, and I, I firmly, and I don't always say God told me this, or God said this, I, I try not to say that unless I'm sure that he actually spoke it, and it wasn't just a matter of the Spirit just revealing something or along those lines. But about two years ago, I guess, it was maybe a little bit longer, <clears throat> he literally spoke into my spirit that every time you use that terminology or anyone uses that terminology, they are stealing glory from Jesus. That's strong. And so from that day on, I never said it again. I never uh, you know, said anything along those lines. Why? Because when you say that, you're putting some special thing on a, on a person who is simply, the reality is this, they are not more anointed than anybody else. We all have the exact same level of anointing because that anointing is our position as sons and daughters in the body of Christ. That is what the anointing is. It is your position. The anointing has nothing to do with power. It has to do with position. I will show you that during the training. Now, and when you say something along the lines of that it is power, <clears throat> what, what happens is when you talk about a person that's anointed, you're saying they have some special thing and you're looking at them as though they are special rather than recognizing the truth, which is they are simply being obedient to the Word of God. Yeah. They are simply being who God called them to be and that it is Jesus flowing through them it is not a special thing or more anointing or more gifting or more in volume. That is not it. It is everybody, it's just like pretty much everybody, every, unless there is a, okay, unless there is a genetic defect, we are all born with the same number of muscles in our body, right? Now, whether that muscle is used or not used will determine how much those muscles develop but you're in charge of the development of your muscles, right? God gives you all the same number of muscles, then what you do with those muscles, as we would say, is kind of your gift back to God in that sense of taking care of your own body. So it's the same thing with faith. It's the same thing with anointing. It's the same thing with the Holy Spirit. Nobody has more Holy Spirit than anybody else. However, there are people that the Holy Spirit has more of Do you get that? You don't have more of him, but there are people that he has more of. And when, and when we look at somebody and say, that person is anointed. No, they just got out of the way enough to let Jesus flow through them more. That's really all it is. See, until you get that viewpoint, you're going to steal glory from Jesus. But once you understand that, now you start to look at these people as trophies of God who are allowing God to use them. 